Alright, hopefully by now you understand a little bit about XML. You can tinker around and add buttons, add text views, do basically everything that we've done quite well. And quite simply, you, hopefully you understand everything that we've done. Uh, but basically there's an easier way to do this for people that don't have a lot of programming skills. Obviously you do and you aren't like those people now. But uh, there's a very easy way on Eclipse to design a layout. How you do that is right here. When you go into the graphical view, you can just drag and drop. So let's, let's add another button. We'll look for a button down here. And it should be... Sorry, it's up here. A button. We'll just drag and drop this. Bam, a button. And then how do you... How do you uh, change it to make it more like this button? I'm not sure if you guys have a properties up here right here, but that's how you do it. But if you don't, I'm going to show you. Down here in the left corner, you just click right here, go to other, and it'll be under the general folder. Here's properties. Here's your properties tab. I usually just drag it over to this section right here, drop it, you know, maybe Lay it down a little bit. I'll show you the layout too. Here's your uh, here's kind of a graphical view of what you've written in JavaScript. Or I'm sorry, in XML. Here's your layout view, and here's all the things within the layout view. Again, it's uh here's your first text view, it selects it, second, so on. We're gonna go down to the button we haven't made ourselves in XML, and we're gonna now make this button to look like this exactly except we're gonna say something else besides tutorial we'll say tutorial too because we're so original and fresh like that but we're gonna go up to the properties and basically we're gonna look for those keywords that we're using in XML and change them through the properties tab uh, to to get basically the same identical thing. So first of all we're going to change the the text from this to tutorial 2. Okay and what else do we need? We need it to fill parent for the width. So let's see it's, uh, yeah, miscellaneous layout width. That's what I was looking for. There's also a pull down bar where you can uh, choose just fill parent. And again, uh, just to see your results, you click the save button. There we go. We're getting somewhere now. But we're going to go um, set size to 25 dp and set style to, let's see, bold. There we go. We're just going to set it to bold. So now we almost have an identical button. And we're just going to save it again. And then we can go back to our XML and look at the comparisons. Basically, it's uh, pretty much the same. They have it all in one line, so I'm going to change that so we can kind of look at it. Okay. So, basically, it's the exact same as this one. But wait, what is this ID? Basically, this makes a reference. Um, when we're in Java, we need a way to reference it. And that's what the ID is for. So in Java, we're going to use button 1. That's a reference point. But we could also label this whatever we'd like. Tutorial 2. Uh, 12. Tutorial 12 makes a lot of sense. But basically, to make a reference, you're going to have to use the ID and use the at plus ID backslash and then name it whatever you want to reference um, in your JavaScript. And we'll get to that later, so that might be a little bit confusing, but every time you create a button, it um, a button through the graphical layout, it automatically makes the ID. Because otherwise a button's completely pointless if it doesn't do anything. And it won't do anything if you don't have an ID, because Java is where it's at to make stuff happen. So, otherwise besides that, the height, we have wrap content, uh, the text, text, uh, width, width, um, so on. Uh, we pretty much have the exact same uh, layout. And you're probably mad at me for teaching you 
teaching you uh, how to type it out when it's so, such, so easy as drag and drop. But this way you can uh, have a little understanding of what's going on in the background. And that's what I wanted you to, to learn. Because now you can be more than lazy and feel good about it. Because when we get into Java, you can't just drag and drop. Um, and basically, before I end this lat or this tutorial for today, uh, I just wanted to show you kind of what's going on in the Java. So we're going to open this. Um, oh crap! We're just Control Z. Okay. Um, we're going to open the Android manifest, which is like I said, that's the the thing that says, okay, yeah, you can run. This is XML for the manifest and it's a little different than the, what we have been doing but basically I want to show you what the manifest kinda does uh, I need more screen power here okay basically I want to show you what the the manifest does uh, just in a, in a short really quick explanation I don't want to explain everything basically uh, here's the function for your application it uses the icon which comes when you start a new package uh, this is what's on your menu screen on the emulator when you click it it actually runs a program and when it runs the program it starts the Java the JavaScript my main which is this one right here and it labels it the job uh, the string app name which we uh, defined at the beginning but I think you can change that as well as uh, you know just it just uh, launches, does the main actions. It's still pretty basic stuff. We aren't going to mess around with the manifest yet. Um, but what I wanted to go to next is your main, your main Java. So basically, the manifest starts up my main Java, and this is going to be a little bit confusing because we haven't learned Java yet. But uh, on create, um, this is when the 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 activity starts. Uh, basically, on create. So it's going to do everything within this these brackets. And one of those things, set content view, which is actually, it references the resource file layout main, which is actually what we have been doing in XML. So it starts this up. That's why when you, we ran the program, it had that background with buttons and the text view, because it starts up here. You can create more layouts by going new, new other Android XML file and you can just type that uh, splash screen that's what we're going to do next it's going to be a layout there's some other options we can choose from we'll get into a little bit later but uh, we need to name it splash XML finish so this one is just um, all black there's nothing in there we haven't added any buttons but let's go to here now we can reference that one or this one on when this activity creates so we're just going to go R layout uh, splash did I do that right? And this is like one of those this is um, I hit enter and I hit save. This is one of those times where I think if you just clean the project, it will it will figure out what's wrong and refresh everything. Yeah, see now it's referencing it. So now when we run our emulator, we shouldn't even get that custom sweet background layout that we got before um, this one. But when we run it, we should just get that blank splash screen because that's what we called in Java. So I just wanted to give you a little intro of what's going on. Uh, with Java, um, even though you probably don't understand anything else in that, I just wanted you to understand the set content view when the application is run. And this application, like I said earlier, is run because of the manifest calls this one to run first. I think it should be running our application here any second. Yep, it's just black screen. This is the splash that we defined. Like I said earlier, I just want to. Uh, here's our menu button, and the basics. There's our app. That's the icon. PNG. That's our app name. I want you to try and figure out. Make your own 
icon for the menu on the emulator. That's your homework. But make sure it's like 40 by 40 or something like that, 100 by 100. Or if you want, make three different apps, uh, icons. Uh, one in the low density one, uh, make that one like 40 by 40. Uh, try one in the medium one for like 100 by 100 and one in the high one for, oops, uh, in the high density for like 150 by 150. Try and do that. Um, and then save them and put them in the right folders. I got to go to bed, guys. I'm sorry I want to create a ton more videos, but I will. Um, and I'll try and at least do a couple videos a week. Here. So see you guys later and uh, take care. Hope you have a little bit of fun doing this. Have a good night.